I got a multigrain and honey brioche. This is what most Italians have for breakfast. It's like a croissant, but it's not crunchy. It's like a soft croissant and we call it brioche. If this was a cappuccino, this would be the typical Italian breakfast. But Italians don't drink iced coffee. I have a little update on my life. Basically, I've been having the worst anxiety in the past few days. What's new? I know. And it's because my parents decided to plan this trip to Greece. Basically, what happened is that the guy that owns this building where the restaurant is, because my parents own the business, but they don't own the building. And so the guy that owns this place, so I guess their landlord, has family in Greece so he was going to go to Greece by car and it's like a 20 hour drive to get to Greece by car from Italy and so he invited us to go with him and like he would host us we wouldn't have to pay for a hotel or like food because we would be staying with his family but my parents didn't know that we were going until literally a week ago and so it was very last minute I had already signed a few contracts for a few sponsorships my parents are not the type of people that plan things my dad is always saying like Oh, we might die tomorrow. What's the point of planning things? Like he says this literally every day. Like he doesn't plan anything, and I am the opposite of that. I have to know exactly what I'm doing for the next three months at least. And so for the past few days, I've been feeling horrible because my parents left yesterday morning by themselves. Just my mom and my dad and my sister decided to stay with me, which made me feel even worse because she is missing out on a vacation. My dad yesterday morning before leaving was like, oh, if I knew you guys wouldn't have come, we wouldn't have gone either because my parents are not the type of people that enjoy going on vacation. They just prefer working, believe it or not, says no one ever, but they just get stressed out when they're away and their businesses are left alone because they don't really have a manager, so they get stressed out about what their employees are doing while they're gone. There's like the saying in Italian, when the cat is gone, the mice start to dance, which basically means that when the boss is gone, the employees do whatever the fuck they want positive thing about the story is that me and my sister are alone at home and my mom's not here to like call me out of nowhere and be like go to the store and buy 10 packs of chicken legs and be here in 10 minutes so yeah i have time to myself which is nice because after you move out of your parents house and you know what it's like to live alone my mom's calling me and then you move back into your parents house it's the worst because your parents still treat you like you're a teenager but you feel like an independent woman. I have to go on that delivery for the restaurant right now in the next 10 minutes. I'm just waiting for them to prepare the food and put it in my car. I ordered a Burberry skirt and I paid 40 euros for it and the lady said it's authentic so let's hope it is otherwise I guess scam which wouldn't be the first time. There's like hairs attached to it. I think it looks cute. This is what the tag looks like. I don't know anything about designer, like how to tell if something is authentic or fake so I don't know, I'm just hoping for the best. And this is the tag inside of it. So I'm not sure if any of you guys know how to tell if it's authentic or not, let me know, but it looks good to me. And it's also like new condition. <gasps> I hate stains on clothing, it's like my biggest pet peeve. So every time I buy secondhand clothing, I always ask, is there any stains on it? Okay, I'm gonna try it on and see what it looks like. Pretend this dress is a top. That's what it would look like. It's pretty tight on me, not gonna lie. So it shows the belly, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's super cute. I decided I'm just gonna keep it and ignore the stain because it's not that visible and I really like how it looks on me. And I also want to buy this dress that is also on Vinted. This Mimi dress, 
not sure if it's authentic again so i want to go to the miu miu store this afternoon and hopefully they have it in store and i can compare the pictures to the actual dress because this girl is selling it for 150 euros here on vintage and it's brand new with tags it retails for 1600 euros online vintage is pretty good at giving refunds if you get scammed so i'm not too worried i'm gonna eat this sandwich that i got at the store earlier the one where i got the brioche it's made with ham and mushrooms and mayo and it's so good and now I have to reply to emails and read a contract that I have to sign. One thing that they don't tell you before you become a YouTuber is that you have to deal with contracts. And I have no law knowledge, so every time I'm doing a sponsorship, you have to sign a contract, right? And I'm just reading through this, I'm like, I don't even know what most of these things mean. Yeah, I just sign it and pray i don't get screwed over i guess that's why sponsorships stress me out a little bit also deadlines i am horrible with deadlines i have no time management skills and that's why now i'm very selective with my sponsorships but you know i wonder if content creators have like lawyers that take care of these things like should i get a lawyer maybe i should but i'm too cheap for that help E un po' di patatine A posto, grazie so hot today, I don't want to be out right now, but you remember when I said that at least the positive thing of my parents being on vacation is that my mom won't call me anymore asking me to do random tasks? Well, she just called me. She literally is giving me things to do from Greece. I have to go pick up some horse meat for the restaurant, some steaks, horse steaks. Go check out this pear tree. Oh, they're like little green apples. I wonder if they're good. This is actually good. Maybe I should go take more. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. I know there's a Saint Laurent factory right next to me. Back in the car, and I just had a moment where I was like, I'm gonna stop vlogging right now and this happens all the time because my mom keeps calling me like every 30 minutes she calls me like is that even normal i'm going crazy and apparently i have to go to the restaurant tonight to get some things from there so like fuck my plans i guess i'm bringing some clothes to the tailor right now i got this zara dress the other day i bought it brand new and the zipper is not working i should have checked it in the store but that's annoying because now i have to pay for this then i also got this super cute top at a random store um uh, it's like with these little floors floors <laughs> flowers and then i got this top it's like crop top with this lace detailing but i ripped it i put it on and it ripped <laughs> Oh my god, this guy's such a creep. Every time I go in there, he makes comments about boobs or my boobs. As we were driving to the Miu Miu store, I asked my sister to check if the dress was still available, and it's not. It's sold. So we're gonna go get gelato instead, because I'm really sad and gelato always fixes everything. <laughs> Ooh, it looks so good. I got a little bit of everything and one grilled sea green. I'm gonna start with this little ball with salmon inside and potatoes. 
Next, I'm gonna have some little shrimps. I actually didn't like the shrimp. I don't know, they just taste weird. Next, I'm having some fried cod. That was a 10 out of 10, it was so good. And I'm having some sardines. Mm -hmm. These are very good. Some calamari. Then I'm having a little crab fried ball. These are always good. It's so hot here. I can't do this anymore. I want winter. I'm actually missing winter and Christmas time right now. Like making the tree, being all cozy inside when it's cold outside and it's snowing. I can't wait for that. The guy from the fish stand thought that I was from the newspaper. They either think I'm from the newspaper or that I'm like a health inspector when I film outside. And it's super awkward. <laughs> Okay, I just got back from my parents' restaurant and it was a waste of time because my uncle had already did what I had to do and my mom didn't know so she sent me there anyways and I just wasted 40 minutes driving back and forth. Definitely today you can see how every day of my life is. I have to do random errands for my parents all the time. It ruins my mood when I have to vlog and I'm like constantly have to change my plan for the day to fit what they asked me to do and I'm not gonna complain to them because I know it's the right thing to do like help them out with their business and stuff but it's definitely annoying when I have a whole day planned for a vlog and it gets messed up so that's why a lot of the time I'm like vlogging and midday I just stop vlogging I have like 10 videos that are half filmed and they've never been posted. wish my parents took my YouTube seriously and I could just put my phone on airplane mode when I'm vlogging but I understand that they need me and whenever I'm going to be staying at their house they're always gonna give me work to do for them because what else is family for? I'm gonna finish the cross stitch which has been taking me way longer than it should be. I've abandoned it for like months. I don't know I've just been neglecting most of my healthy habits like journaling and stuff like that. Not in the right mindset to do healthy things. Oh, <laughs> 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 